Hello everyone, welcome back to Steam Code. In this video, we're going to be improving our Chrome extension that we made in the beginning. And I've linked that video in the description. And so for this, our Chrome extension will effectively be able to, once you highlight over a word, first let me reload this, highlight over a word, right click. Now it brings up a pop-up menu. And you can search for that word on Wikipedia, Bing, or Google. So say I want to search on Bing, click on that. And as you can see, it searches for that word on Bing. And so let's jump right into this. So now that we're going to not only search on Wikipedia, I think it's appropriate that we change the name of the extension. So instead of text to Wikipedia, we'll call this text to search. And then the description will be highlight over a word to search for it. And that's all we need to change inside of our manifest.json. So now let's go help into our background.js. All right, so there are a few variables we're gonna need in order to be able to effectively switch, uh, switch from Wikipedia to Google to Bing. So we're going to create those variables above the chrome.runtime.uninstalled. So first, var base URL. We're going to set that to HTTP, Wikipedia, n.wikipedia.org, slash wiki. And I'll explain really what these variables are as we use them. It'll be more comprehensive once you see them in action. And then the next variable we're going to create is called base URLs, plural. And so the first one, Wikipedia. And this key Wikipedia will be associated with the value of the base URL. Then next, Bing. And that will be associated with the Bing base URL, so HTTPS www.bing.com and if you want to search then you need to specify at the end of the URL search question mark Q equals and that just stands for query equals and whatever you're searching for we're gonna do the same thing for Google I'll just copy the Bing URL and change it to google.com All right, so that's all the uh, variables we're going to need to create. Now let's hop right into our actual meat of the code. So since we're really restructuring how this works, we can get rid of these two things that we created in the previous video. And what we'll do is we'll just create a for loop. So we'll say for let key of object dot keys base URLs. So what this is, is it's a for loop that iterates through each key of this base URLs map. And this base URLs map just specifies the URLs that we're going to use once you click on that specific context menu. So if we head back to our Chrome here, once we highlight over a word, as you can see, three different context menu boxes come up and each one corresponds to an entry within our base URLs map. So this for loop just iterates through each of those keys. And so as it iterates through each key, we're going to create a context menu that corresponds to it. So we'll say Chrome dot context menus dot create (coughs) 
and then the ID will just be the key. So since the ID of the Wikipedia context menu is just Wikipedia, the ID will just be Wikipedia. Or since the name of the Wikipedia context menu is Wikipedia, the ID will be Wikipedia. And the title will just be the key as well. Type is normal because this is just a normal context menu. And contexts will be on selection. So the only context this will appear on is when the user selects something. All right. So now let's head on to the actual listener. So we're going to delete these two. Actually, we can keep the Chrome tabs create new URL, but we'll delete this. And so first we're going to create the base URL, which is going to be added on to our selected text to create the new URL. So we'll say base URL is equal to base URLs, which is the map and then info dot menu item ID. As you'll remember from up here, we set the ID of each menu item, the context menu item to the key. And so we're accessing that key and just putting it back into our map to access the value. And the value is just the URL or the base URL of each of our selections. So next, we'll create the new URL. So var new URL is equal to base URL plus info dot selection text. And then we're just going to create the tabs as normal. So once we save this, then head back into our Chrome and then update our extensions. Then as you can see, the new text to search 1.0 appears. Let me delete the original one. And so now what we can do is highlight over any word, right click. As you can see, this drop down menu appears. Now select Google. As you can see, that word is now selected on Google. So now let me select this word, highlight it, search for it on Wikipedia. Now it's been searched on Wikipedia. Let's do the same thing for Bing. Gold needs to be reloaded. Same thing for Bing. And as you can see, it's been searched for on Bing. All right, so that's really all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If there's more interest with this concept of creating extensions and how to how to add to them, then please let me know within the comment section and leave a like and subscribe and I'll create more videos around surrounding this concept. And please check out the Patreon. You don't have to actually pay anything on the Patreon if you don't want to. But it has polls, it has videos, it has other things on there. So that if you want to support me, then there's uh, there are some things, there's some extra perks that you can get as well. All right. So this is it for the video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, please subscribe. And if you had any questions, do not hesitate to put any inside the comment section below. I'll see you guys in the next one.